we made it up to my son's private property that he has access to, 30 acres, and he's already trying to steal my stuff. I don't know how this works. Probably squished in there. Hold on. Technical difficulties to start the day, folks. Sausage. Trying to steal my snacks now. Is there an on-off switch? <laughs> no. There's a lock on there. Oh, okay. Uh, so user error, I guess, huh? Yeah. You didn't tell me that. I was just thirsty, you know? Just wanted a drink. So we're on the property. You we can only access it from the road. I'd say about a little less than half of it is this open field but uh, it's not we have like a road system kind of cut into the place but a lot of the roads haven't been used heavy I'd say in the past three four years so some of it's grown up but uh, it's not hard to navigate yeah if there's bucks in here they're gonna be they're gonna be walking that tree edge down there now right here we have a lot of doe traffic. They come right up through the corner of the property that we're walking towards now. They're coming in the, in the morning. They'll go back out and then later in the evening, they'll do the same thing. Um, Is it mostly does? Early season, it's a lot of does. I only saw, I only saw one buck in the field last year. Okay, so we got the road up here, which is the only access to this property. And then down here to the south, got a good chunk of hardwoods. It's pretty thick in there. And we're gonna get to that. We're gonna go down and check that out as well. Now you already have some stands set up. Yeah, now we get, we get a lot of doe that like to hang out right here in this thick of trees and then this shrubbery over here. Uh, so once we get a little further down, you'll see where they're coming in and you'll see where I have one of my stands set up. I'm really looking for horns this year, but I really want it for the meat, so. It's your first tree stand location? Yes, sir. I'll call that one deer, look at me, look at me. Don't worry, we'll be up a little <laughs> higher than that. I had uh, all kinds of sagging branches all the way down through here. So at the end of last season, I really only had one small shooting lane and they had to be right up against the trees. I came in probably three weeks ago. I took out all these branches and a couple dead trees. How much property is across that road that we're looking at? It's a pretty decent sized acreage, but it's, it's longer north to south than it is wide east to west. I don't have a lot of relationships with the local landowners around here to kind of trade information with. So really I'm just going off of what I see on the property myself. As far as information on the property surrounding, I really don't have a lot. I know there are food locations on the property, but I haven't found any bedding. Well, you can already see right here, there's a good trail running right across in front of your stand. You can definitely see where they're using it as a heavy traffic area, um, especially down the tree lines. And then also through the brush, you can see where they're kind of We'll show you how they're making their way down through there. Looks like it'll stay green in here for quite a while through archery season. Lots of grass and cloves to eat. We do have a trail right here. You can see it right through this little bit of a weedy area where they come all across the road straight down through here. Yeah, that's a pretty heavy one too. I'll tell you what, this little patch of woods right here in front of me, if they're not coming in from your first stand location and they come in that trail we were just at and walk down this tree line, that you can get a perfect shot in there. You won't have to cut anything back. So if you're up in this tree, you can get a perfect shot right out here to this tree line. Whether they're coming up or down, they never see you in there. Another reason that'd be a good spot is because you can walk out the top road, come down the side here and come straight in. You won't yeah. even have to walk through the property. Even got some old rubs here. 
Over there, there's some more rubs. If there's bucks in here, they're probably sneaking in during the night time or super early in the morning. Speaking of those trail cameras, we could throw one up here just we'll see if anything's crossing down through here. What do you think about right here? It looks like an old walnut tree. Looks like we're gonna be out of the, over you look like we're gonna be too high, what do you think? That's pretty good. The only thing I would worry about is if this branch moves too much, it might pick it up. Maybe not. You'll know if your phone starts going off. Once your camera's set, I wouldn't walk through this spot because we're gonna put a scrape in right here. If you guys are gonna be walking up and down this specific trail right here, there's no point putting a scrape or your camera here. I'd try to walk around it if you could. What are you thinking? I want to try to get a little bit of weight on this branch to bring it down a little bit. Like right here. What are you doing that for? Just out of curiosity? Well, because if they have fawns, they'll be able to touch it too. Any deer that comes by here will be able to touch it. And if it's right here in their face when they're walking down the trail, they're going to hit it. One thing is you might have to get some scent in here. Do you got to pee? No. If you get a chance, try to get yourself some scent to get in that scrape. Okay. Before too to long. Get, I'll have to get some. That looks like an old four-wheeler path. Yeah, this is one of the old roads. See, this is one of the areas that it's not as thick, so uh, the access isn't terrible. I had my experience with my first doe was... Uh, right here in this spot. I was sitting here for a couple hours, didn't hear nothing. I turn around to uh, see what's behind me and there's a doe standing right under this tree. She came moseying up, walked underneath me, started eating like I wasn't there. That stand would be good for if you have a north wind. They're coming down along the bottom. There's no way they're walking across this field. They might be up top eating a little bit, but they'll come down through to the south. And that's probably how they're getting over to the other property and the private property on the bottom. Ooh. Check Big this hole. out. Check this out. Is that what a ground hole down hole? there? Ooh, that almost blew my knee out. I'm glad you had your boots on. Yeah. You probably would have just broke your ankle. It's a super cool location, man. Needs a little bit of work. You should definitely have yourself a food plot. All right, so we made it to the bottom side of this property where everything above us is all field. There's a couple patches of woods. And now we're gonna start digging. We're gonna get into the bottom in the hardwoods and it gets really thick in here. So let's go see what we can find. Do you think this is from when the cars were still coming in and out? No, that's that's definitely a deer trail. Boy, this is crazy. Look at this. Oh, definitely needed my boots. Look at that. Can you see where we're at on the property? This is rough. A rough estimate. We're about right here. My tree stand last year. We're going down there. Well, hold on a second. Let's talk about this. We need to if, go down there. If we finish this trail out, I gotta see what's going on here. Let's do it. Oh yeah, I see why. You're right. And we found some bedding. Question is what? Yeah, right there, see? using this that's a fresh bed too the hair everywhere and it's matted down there's another bedding another bedding spot There's an old historical rub right there. And over here is a rub from last year. 
It's a small one, but at least we're finally seeing sun. So this is that trail I was telling you about. This runs all the way to the other end of the property, but I want to show you something over here quick. Well, it's definitely a heavy trail, but I'm still not seeing buck sign here. Let's get over to that far west corner, southwest corner. And where we came down through, we saw a couple of rubs. A bunch of bedding right there. Almost bet they're coming across that southwest corner of the property. Right, so right here is where we found the bedding and the trails coming down through. They're using that pretty good. Right there's a pretty good heavy trail. Good Lord, look at this. I'm standing right beside it. I've never seen a buck rub this high. That's insane. I'd like to know where that buck is. When we came down in, there was fresh beds. You know they're bedding there. Obviously we must have kicked them out. I would definitely not come down through there when you set up. I'd walk around that, follow this out a little bit. I hope when we see some more sign, some more beds. We've got acorns too. Right here. Yeah, those are fresh tracks. Are you kidding me? You have blueberries in here? All right, there's more bedding. It's a fresh trail. All right, there's a fresh bed too. Beds everywhere. There's one, two, three. There's another bed. It's four. There's a ton of beds in here. All right, there's another trail. Fresh track. They're in here pretty heavy. I'm actually thinking that right here is a good setup. You got some shooting lanes. Right here is bedding. The problem with that is if you're going to hunt this spot, it's getting into it. Getting in here super early before they get back here to their beds. Question is also, I like to climb, so what, what am I climbing here? All right, there's a heavy trail. Look, right here. Bedding right there. Be a tough one to get in, but you can come down that clearing right up there. Come around the back, and you can sneak up this tree right here. And look, behind you. Got room to shoot, good clearing. And in front of you. You have to get rid of this. Wow, look at this. What's that? Yeah, so if you would see that tree line up there, yeah, you could come right down there, sneak in the back and right up your tree and not even touch that petting area. Should I throw a camera up or what? I would. We'll clear this spot, set up the camera. So we have a trail that comes right down through this tree you're going to put your stand in. The trail splits off. It's behind us is bedding, another 75 yards. To the north, there's another bedding area. You'll be able to sneak right in through the back here. You gotta find a tree for you to climb, though. I'm not hunting here. I ain't coming down here. Why? Not by myself. My first year. I'll come sit with you, I'll film. But I'm not gonna shoot anything on your private property. I just wanna put a camera up, see what's down here. Let's set it up back there in that tree.
Yep, yours. That looks like it's about pretty old, bud. Well, somebody was in here. What does that say? Fuck bomb. That's probably six those, years old. Those and asterisks. All right. I put it right here in this tree. We got a trail here. Trail to the south. A couple trails right here to the north. Oh, this is a good spot. I should probably get up just a hair higher. Let's see what it does. I'm gonna try not to blow deer out of here when you come in. You got all that bedding over here to your east. This is birch. I haven't smelled a birch tree since I was a kid. I don't have any birch trees down at home. That smells so good. I'd be putting ice packs in this camelback. You ever try beer out of one of these, Dad? No way. Imagine, bud. It's like having a keg in your backpack, bud. I'd be passed out in five minutes. Yeah, be all right. He's sucking on that birch like it's candy. Good old birch tree. Last time I had my hands on one of these, I was a teenager. Anyway, I came into this property, and I think we found some good spots on the southwest corner. A little bit of buck sign, not a whole lot, but enough to think it'd be a good setup. There's definitely does coming through here. Lots of bedding. Actually, a couple, couple different bedding locations here on the southwest corner on this property. Just gotta know how you're gonna access it. Mm, that's good. All right. I think we should get a mock scrape going here, right on this trail. Mm. And then don't come in here. I wouldn't come in past your cameras. And be careful when you're coming down that trail. Get yourself some spray. For Keep your scent down. I want to set up a good mock scrape right here. I didn't bring any rope. Shoot. Got any rope in your pocket? Nothing in there? Nope. Shoot. There are vines all over the place. We'll probably find one. Well, that one smells like poison. Great. Oops. You setting that up just something to... Yep. Wave in their face or what? Yep. All right, get that camera off of me. They should like birch. you got that clearing right there. That's how you're gonna access this, right? There's no way I'd come down that middle. I wouldn't ever go in there again. You got bedding right there. And then bedding up where we come in, remember? I'm telling you, all you'd have to do, because you're right-handed, your stands here, all you'd have to do is go like this. Flop. They're coming up through here. Have you seen me shoot? Have you, have you seen me shoot? What do you mean? You think I'm hitting a buck standing here? I'd start hanging out on this side of the property, dude. We're on the southwest side of this property, and you can tell deer are using this corner down here pretty heavily. Right there's the field, and they're not even touching the corner of the field. They're walking right down the edge here trails everywhere. Finally got my son down in here to the thick stuff. 
last I've seen some deer. 